Hello everyone, welcome back. Or if you stumbled across this video, my name's Rick Valentine and I'm a PGA Fellow Professional. If you find this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Today, we're gonna to look at the low flighted spinning wedge shot and adding this to our short game shots that we're able to work on and bring to the golf course. So let's have a look. So over the last few videos of my short game coaching, we've looked at the standard chip shot and pitch shot. But an important element of our golf game and our short game is to be able to hit that shot that's going to have enough spin to stop it quickly on the green. It's also a great shot to show off to our friends on the golf course as well. So the big mistakes people make with this shot is, that of course, they go straight to the 60 degree wedge, but they open up that club face and they start working from out to win. They're thinking if they cut across the ball, it's going to impact that ball and it's going to cause an increase of spin. However, adding loft coming across the ball, we've actually got too much loft on the ball and we're not actually able to create enough impact into that, create enough friction and it's just skidding up that club face. So what we're looking to do is to maintain that loft and it's actually a draw flighted shot that is gonna spin the most. It keeps that ball on the club face, it keeps that compression. So what are, the, what are we looking for? We're looking for slightly narrow stance. We're gonna put that ball middle to maybe very fractionally forward, but if it's forward, we have gotta be really careful of our strike. We're gonna keep our weight onto our left foot and we're gonna work on an in to out path and we're gonna try and release those hands. So by working that into out path, release those hands, we're gonna get a lower trajectory, but because the ball's not skidding up that club face, we're gonna get more spin. So let's hit one. So I've got my weight onto my left foot, and I'm really gonna feel that into out. And keeping that club face close to my path. So what I'm looking for, if you can see from there, I'm looking for an in to out path, but that club face is going to be close to the path, but it's still slightly open to the target. So we're going to get that draw spin coming in. We don't want to be digging down too hard, but we do want a, a, a descending blow on it, but we want to just very small shallow divots. So we're gonna work on this again. So I'm gonna put my weight onto my left foot, keep that club face nice and square. And I'm gonna feel that club coming into out. So I'm just gonna rotate my body to do this. And I'm also just gonna hold off that follow through. I'm not gonna let that follow through come all the way up to a high finish. I'm just gonna hold that follow through. I'm just gonna put my hands past the ball and hold that position there. That should really help you with this type of shot. So it's gonna give a lower trajectory, but it's gonna give you a much higher spin rate. So you're able to hit those balls onto the green, one jump and get them to stop nice and quickly, hopefully close to the flag. Give that a go, let me know how you get on. If there's anything else you want covered, give us a shout.